action. And of course, back to the junior stars. Let's go to Kisumu and take a look at how they thrashed the competition. So there, that's, that's actually the action. You can see how our boys were in good form beating Sudan. Not one, not two, not three, but five. Sia, maybe we begin uh, with you uh, in that. Yes, uh, Suila. One thing that um, I really liked, number one, is the composition of the team. And um, you look at the players who are playing for the junior stars, most of them are the players we saw in term two secondary school games, yeah? And uh, also some of them even who left for some academies in Europe have already been integrated in the team. And you can see them, the legs of uh, uh, Louis Igavi, the legs of uh, Kibet Adrian. Now, talk about uh, the wonder boy I saw in that match, uh, Tyron Karioki, uh, the kind of football he played. In fact, for the first time, uh, Swila, mm. I remember the words of coach uh, Engin Firat, and he has been saying that we do not have uh, plenty of uh, skillful offensive uh, players on, the, on our flanks. Sure, yeah? sure. That's why he has been explaining the shifting of Masur Juma from center to the, to the wings. Mm. And I saw Tyron Karioki, I saw that kind, of, uh, that kind of touch that we have been missing in the team. I remember Kahata at his prime. Mm. And um, really, it's something to celebrate. What actually I've liked even more is the comments by the head coach, Salim Babu, uh, after that match. He said that uh, he's not just here to win the title, but to entertain as, as he wins it. Mm -hmm. But also said he did not get um, the best chance to evaluate his weaknesses through the Sudan game, meaning that uh, he wants a better opposition, maybe tomorrow in Rwanda, so that uh, he can gauge uh, how far they are, they, they are gone. Look at even the depth of the squad. Uh, the likes of Kasavuli could not start. Yeah, and we remember how Kazavuli started start in, the, in, the, in the school games before he left for, uh, for, for Europe. Uh, this is the magic that we've been talking about. Get the best talent under, under 18, 16 years, 15 years, 17. Take them to Europe as early as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start integrating them in, in the team. One boy, uh, Stanley Wilson, who, who actually was commanding the midfield, is the only boy who, have, who has been called up for the national team, the senior team, Harambe, starts before by Engin Firat. And we are saying, if we start seeing this kind of integration early enough, by the time we get to 2027, a boy who is 17 years, 18 years, at their 21, 22, they should be able to give us that magic we have been lacking in our national team. And I think it's a, it's a good report for us. A good report, Becky. You've mm -hmm. been following development football quite closely. Your quick thoughts on uh, that 5-0 win. And of course, as the CSA says, we face the Rwandese tomorrow. Yeah, tuna makutana dhidi ya team ya Rwanda na tuliona uh, walifanya vizuri uh, katika mechi yao. Nafikiri alivyosema hisi ya mwaka 2027 uh, kama tutakuwa tunashikilia hizi talanta uh, talanta ambazo kwamba tumezishuhudia tutakuwa na team ambayo kwamba ni nzuri. Nimependa uh, mbinu ya Salim Babu maana ukiangalia uh, viungo vyote ni sema kwamba vilikuwa imara. Ukiangalia safi ya kujilinda, safi ya kati, safi ya ushambulizi. Kinyume na Engine Firat, kocha wa timu ya taifa Rambe Stars, ukiangalia uh, wanaweza anza mchezo malipopote. Lakini uliangalia wale ni wachezaji ambao kwamba walikuwa na mbinu ya kushambulia. Huu ni mchezo ambao kwamba hatujao ushuhudia katika timu ya Harambe Stars kwa, 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 kwa muda mwingi zaidi. Na alivyotaja hisia ni kwamba tulifurahia kuna talanta kama Kariuki, ni mchezaji ambao kwamba uh, wengi wakitarajia kwamba anaweza kufanya mazuri ambao kwamba aliyafanya. Mchezaji Adrian Kibet ni mchezaji ambao kwamba tulimtuza majuzi uh, kama chama cha wanabara wa michezo kwa kazi nzuri ambayo alifanya katika mashindano ya shule za upili lakini nimefurahia ule mwendelezo ambao kwamba aliufanya kule katika uwanja wa Bukungu ameuleta katika timu ya taifa nafikiri kinachotarajiwa ama kinachohitajika tu ni kwamba ni uh, serikali weze kuunga mkono vizuri timu hiyo tumefurahi kuweza kumuona waziri babu na mambo na viongozi wakiwa pale katika ule uwanja asante pia mashabiki katika ukanda wa uh, wanyanza wa na hal kadhalika pia katika janibu mbalimbali mbali za taifa hili ambao walijitokeza pale uwanjani maana ukiangalia ni kwamba nguvu ya mchezaji ni, 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 ni ule uwepo wa mashabiki pale uwanjani. Kwa hiyo kudos kwa kocha Salim Babu na tuna imani ya kwamba tutakuwa tunashinda mchezo ambao kwamba unafuatia. And Shitera mm. to you real quick he's talked about the fans, the attendance mm -hmm. and the role it plays in psyching the boys up and we are seeing this competition actually. Uh, if you look at the Sekafa management, they have mm -hmm. a lot of underage tennis, but the question is the lack of consistency. Mm -hmm. We could have it this year. Next, Next year, year probably is all there. Um, in this, I, wa I would want to congratulate the CS himself, uh, Babu Namwamba, uh, who has really uh, put everything together to ensure that 
uh, this happens. Um, now, the talent in the under-18 team shows that Kenya, mm -hmm. unlike many sentiments before, uh, that Kenya does not have talent. Look at uh, what is on display. Mm -hmm. The only thing that these people have been lacking is a platform. And that's why I've been saying uh, I did cover the school games. I did, um, I, I did cover, again, Chapadimba, which is still ongoing. And the talent on the pitch is raw. Mm. And I can only imagine how Salim Babu is enjoying himself. Spoiled for that, choice. That, that, yeah, he's spoiled for choice. That boy called uh, Adrian Kibet, uh, Shaban from Shanderema Boys, uh, Kasavuli, uh, uh, Omala Benson. Uh, I mean, Omala, the, 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 the Omala. <laughs> and then it scales up <laughs> again to our questioning of uh, how Engine Firat selects his team. Uh, leaving some talents that really needs to grow. He gave Benson Omala an opportunity, he scored. And this is what we've been saying. It reminds me of Reynard Fabish, the late, who came up with a very, very young squad, save for uh, Musa Utieno. And everyone on the pitch was young. We questioned him and asked him, what are you doing? Even uh, Bernard's goal at his time, remember the Olympic Youth Centers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To build yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so these talents, you can see these are boys who are hungry. They want to prove a point. But again, I asked and I still ask, where is Engine Firat in all this? <laughs> Sita, as we wrap it up, um, the question of talent development, mm -hmm. and Shiter and Becky have been covering the Chapadimba, mm -hmm. all corners of the country, good players on parade, but walking the journey with these talented youngsters. We lose them at one point or the other. Mm -hmm. What must we change to ensure the talents on parade realize their full potential? I think now we have, uh, if we we talk about about feeding the Arambe stars and then we have under 20 again, I think by next year, the under 18 team should be playing the under 20 matches in the that is in the national um, national team. So f the transition has to be very smooth. You know we cannot just pick all the team from under t under 18 to come and play for the senior team. We have to have a transition. We don't have to have a team that uh, you know what what happened in Spain when they took the younger team w went for the World Cup. So we have to have that smooth transition. I hope Engine Ferrat is watching this, knowing that after this after this year uh, Sekafa, I know the next year they're going to play. Under 20, I've, I've not seen under 20 for the longest time actually for the Kenyan team. So for, for me, I hope that we have now a team for under 20. So tr smooth transition is what we need. After the, the other one have graduated to, to under 20, we need to go now, we have now Chapadimba, we have the school games again next year. We have again to grow them to under 18. You know, that is how the transition is supposed to be. So for me, I think now they've learned. I we don't want what, ha what is happening to, what is happening to the rugby because of the transition it happened to the national team so for me we have now a team we have we have to put a smooth smooth transition from where senior team to the junior team and of kiri kukongezea tu yeo smooth transition ambaye na zungumza ndatua mfano wa arambe starlets kiangalia kocha odemba kikosa mbajo mekitaja na fikiri tunakuja kuongea pia kuhusia na starlets kuna mchezaji kama vasila diambo ambaye tumeshudia kicheza katika rising starlets ambaye alitua majuzi katika mechi ya boswana kwa hiyo na fikiri ata kama siku waita wote kwa mkupuo ajaribu kuita mchezaji moja katika timu kumpatia nafasi kulingana na talanta ambazo anazipiga msasa katika mashirano mkomba yanaendelea. Okay. And talking of 